get here, we get a win for our team. I think the guys feel good about it. I think uh, it's a long season and you can't get too high or too low. We gotta keep reminding them that, but it is, it is a lot better than losing. I think it's a combination of it's very difficult to be a rim protector who doesn't foul because there's so much contact. He's got big time athletes on that. So we're asking for a lot. It's difficult to start one. And two, we got to do a better job keeping the ball out. Hey, and they got to do a better job not getting dumb ones. Like they got to go straight up. They got to get good at verticality. Those are skills that are really going to help them as they keep moving on. We got to build them up with it. So I thought they showed stretches of Chris having a couple of great rim protections in a row. Norvell too, and you see how that kind of fuels our offense. How nice is it to have him back? I know he's been on the, the road for at least a week. Yes. Uh, Norvell's one of, one of my. I mean, they're all my favorites. But Norvell's a guy that I really enjoyed coaching. He's a great guy to talk to. A great guy to work with. And we're very happy to see his success. And, and like we said before, this is kind of what the G League's all about. He came here, he had a really good year, got a lot better from the start of last year to where he finished. And then now he gets to play as a two-way and make, make a, lot, a lot of money and get up there with the Sixers. So we're happy for him. It's great to have him when he's here, and I'm happy to see him up with the Sixers when he's there. Hey, um, I'm doing a story on Zion here. It just seems like, are you looking for more aggressiveness out of him? He's so unselfish out there. I think he's got really good instincts for playing. I think a couple times we even saw it today where he saw Chris in, in the role making those passes. I think it's early, and, and we just played a couple games, and our guys are getting a feel for each other. I think Zaire's in that process like anybody else. I do think he had some standout defensive possessions that Martin was trying to go at him. They wanted Martin to get going, and he couldn't, largely because he sat down, played his stance, moved his feet, level and chest all over the place, and that's good to see. We keep building him up on offense. We keep getting him opportunities, and I think he's going to take to that well. It's just a matter of him needing reps, you know? I think so. I think he's got the, the right mindset. I think he uh, he's an unselfish player who sees the floor really well, and the more reps he gets, the more he can figure out how to pick it apart. And that's what the G League's for. He yeah, gets up 28 points and then, and then commits his first foul right after that. Just talk about his efficiency, you know, being able to score the way he did and, you know, not turn the ball. Yeah, I think uh, Amar's a very talented offensive player. That he comes to us in that regard. We have to um, find ways to use him effectively. We have to find ways to kind of make him more efficient in the sense of you can't take him five dribbles to score. He's got to be quick. He's got to get that point five thing we talked about. He's a talented shot maker from all levels. I think that's a skill that can translate very quickly, but he won't get six dribbles in the NBA to do it. That's what we keep working on him here. Julian Wasserman had 12 points off the bench today. How big was his performance for you guys? Julian was great. And he got to play a lot because of the foul trouble that our bigs were in, but I think he deserved the minutes. He plays hard. I think he gives us kind of a mature presence where he makes the right decision in the paint. He calms us down. He gets a good defensive rebound. And he's been an asset so far. It's great to have. A couple more. What can you say about uh, Mumford and, and, and Mariel? I mean, between the two of them, 76 points. It just it just seemed they continue to move the ball well and, and they continue to shoot the ball better. Yeah, I think our ball movement improved from Saturday to today. I think we can get a lot better. Too many possessions now where guys are holding it. There's no movement. We talk about summertime, getting the ball in the paint, reacting to the drives. We did a better job. We can continue to kind of improve there. And the more we move and put pressure on the defense, the more those guys get easy looks. And they're, they're big time scorers who can score. The score came back, took a lead very late. These guys dumped down. What was it in those last couple of minutes that just sort of let them it out? Uh, I think we got a couple stops when we needed to. We got a loose ball when we needed to. 